Greetings, I am Jessica Lily Dito, a graduating senior aerospace science engineering major from the small town of Wiggins, Mississippi. I ran on the platform of a pioneer who maintains tradition while continuing growth. amazing but like it's like 90% work and stress okay, okay. and just stuff going on and then 10% of what everyone sees like the whole glamour thing mm -hmm. but the work and the stress really puts in a lot to the university that a lot of people don't ever get to see so I actually started like no more than a week after I got chosen and I started planning for the summer initiatives so during the summer, I had different events going on. Like I did leadership workshops. I did etiquette workshops. When I was at my internship, I was an advocate for STEM because there's not very many girls who are engineers or scientists who represent in positions like this. As in like the HBCU Queens, there's only maybe 10 of us who are STEM majors and everyone else is just like, you know, liberal arts, their business, like majors that consist of talking to people all the time. While, you know, engineers, we tend to be kind of to ourselves. So it's really interesting to be in this position where everybody's like, wow, you're a rocket scientist and you, you do beauty pageants and you do all this different stuff and it doesn't really make sense. But then you put yourself in the, in the experience, it's like no other. Like it's something that you only can understand if you do it. And it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of times where people are like, hey, I need you in like two hours to come do this right now. And you're like, glad I had a dress ready this morning. So you learn how to like, monitor yourself and be like okay so i'm gonna have this dress ready just in case someone calls me today or i'm gonna make sure my hair is done in this way like i dress a certain way to go to school that way if someone catches me like in auburn or just walk into class they'll be like oh hey that's Mr. Skiggy," and then i have to talk you know mm -hmm. so it always makes it you make yourself more aware of what you're doing in your surroundings and how you carry yourself and representing the university is a totally different level because Tuskegee alumni are everywhere. Like I'll be in Huntsville and people are just like, oh my gosh, you're Miss Tuskegee, can I get a picture with you? I'm like, sure. I was kind of in hiding with my baseball cap and glasses <laughs> and that obviously didn't work. But yeah, it's fun to like see all of that. But it is a lot of stress, it is a lot of work. And like what people see on the outside is the beautiful part. And on the inside, it's, it's like QEPs, which is the Quality Enhancement Plan which is something that keeps our school running, like how TCAL was created, TCAL came from that QEP. So the QEP this year is REACH, so we have to get that out. So myself and the SJA president, Austin, have to work on business levels. We also have to meet with the board of trustees. We have to have different meetings with different alumni. We have to go represent at awards and stuff like that. Stuff you don't think about, that you don't see, that we have to do all of the time and we get that short minute notice, but it's good to be able to work on the fly. Free time, ooh, that's a strong word. So <laughs> I learned this year, I don't really have much free time. So I get up around five or six in the morning to get ready. And then about seven, I go study until eight, whatever my first class is. And I go to class and then when I'm out of class, I study, do whatever homework I have to do. And when I get done with class, go straight to office hours. Once I get done with office hours, it's usually around like six or seven at night. And I go check on like the band because those are my people. So I get to, find ways to go back to the band. The band has kind of been my root mm -hmm. of everything. It's like, it got me to this point. Like I came in as a freshman who was just like, hi, don't really want to be here, but hello. And I ended up falling in love with the whole Golden Tiger experience and Tuskegee in general. And if you knew me first coming, I was not for it. So in my free time, I find ways to like go visit the band or I play with drones a lot. Like I'm super into flying objects. Also have droids like Spiro, stuff like that. I kayak, I scuba dive. Um, yeah, it's, I do a lot of interesting things. I skydive sometimes. I play with different African toys, but hand making, hand making is a very relaxing thing. I probably need a whole bunch of like free time things and that, but that's very rare that I get to do those things. So I find ways to like 
when I'm doing Miss Tuskegee stuff, find fun things to do in the midst of it. Like if I'm throwing something away, throw it like into a basketball. Or once I get done with one activity, then I'm like, ooh, let me look up some fun places to go after I graduate because you know, engineers, we like to think we're gonna be making buku amount of money. And um, <laughs> no, we're not. But <laughs> so like finding different ways to just entertain myself. Like one time, the Royal Court, we had a meeting, right? Right before the gala. And I was like, I'm a roller skate the whole meeting. So I was in inline skates the whole time, like doing our jobs and working back and forth with Morgan and Kalia and then helping Xavier and Big T with like different wardrobe ideas and then helping Jalen make sure his party was ready. And he was, while well, I was helping him, he was making sure everything was going right. So it was like, we all work together in a good way and finding ways to just have fun and have a good time is cool. And sometimes like we'll have a projector and Xavier will like do shadow puppets in the middle of the meeting. And we're just like, Xavier. But like, you know, finding different ways to have fun because once you give yourself to Miss Tuskegee, you really don't have yourself anymore. You become like the university's Barbie. And it's, it's a beautiful Barbie, but you know, the Barbie comes out of her box and she gets shipped off and then she has to come back, put back in her box. And you know, Jessica and Miss Tuskegee have to be very different people. Because if you lose yourself in Miss Tuskegee, you, you lose your senior year. So remembering that you are still yourself at some points is really good. Ooh, I like chicken tenders with french fries and honey mustard. Oh. And a Bart's root beer. That okay. is it. TV show. That So Raven was good. And the Proud thing was good because I was gonna be Penny one day. <laughs> then I realized I can't be Penny. So yeah, Proud Family and That's a Raven. For sure. So like I believe in making a legacy and leaving it and have, having it where other people can follow it but grow from it. So I've looked at the other platforms of the other Miss Tuskegee's and taken some of their things and done it like the little Miss Tuskegee pageant that'll be this year, um, incorporating like the University Kings and Queens and the gala. And then also I extended that by making it more of a school production than it's all about Jessica. It's, I had that moment at the end, but it took us all together to make that one big moment of we are the university and we ourselves are Mother Tuskegee and that's what we develop and that's what we leave here is what we've done in our generation. Like when you look at pictures from old Tuskegee, you see like people in the yard, you see people in the shed, but you, you only see like particular things from each unit, like the wardrobe, the things they said, the things they would do. But from us, I'd like to see like our own characteristic that no one else can ever duplicate. So. With me being as Miss Tuskegee, just when you become Miss Tuskegee or if you ever get that chance to become Miss Tuskegee, you, you make sure you're yourself, that you make it okay, that you don't have to wear like all the makeup all the time. If you wear glasses, feel free to wear glasses when you go to class. If you like cowgirl boots, wear your cowgirl boots. Like be yourself, but get the job done because there's a time and place to dress like Miss Tuskegee and there's a time and place to be real and be, be a person. And if you live in Adams, Truly live in Adams, like live with the girls, let them know your name, invite them to your room. They do a lot of cool stuff. Like I never got to live in Adams. I always lived in Harvey or the Emory's. So I really didn't have that community vibe and really take part in that. And when you're becoming that person that you, this is molding you to be, don't forget that you started here as a freshman too. So understanding that everyone has their steps and everyone has their bounds and you didn't just show up as the senior you are today. So being you, trying your best to incorporate new things while keeping the traditions that have been going and just leaving it all here.